Mr. Dinesh Vosudesh, the new chief executive of a national agency that coordinates care services for seniors, met a 104-year-old woman during a visit to an active aging centre AAC in Bidok in 2023. I asked if her children were helping her, and she said that her children also needed help because they were also elderly, said Mr. Dinesh. So increasingly, you're going to see not just a single layer, but potentially. Both parents and grandparents, and hence, the caregiving demands on adult children in the future would potentially be more complex. Mr. Dinesh, who made that visit as the CEO designee of the Agency for Integrated Care AIC, took over as CEO on February 1, 2024. His new role comes at a time when the community is set to play a very important role in supporting seniors to age in place as the country prepares for a super age population. Nearly one in five Singaporeans now is age 65 and above. By 2026, this proportion will be one in five citizens, bestowing the status of a super age society on Singapore. By 2030, one in four citizens will be 65 and above. More seniors will be living alone and facing rising care needs without daily family support. They risk becoming lonely, which has implications for their mental and physical health, and will face safety and security challenges. To help seniors age well in the community, AICE will redouble its efforts to drive senior volunteering, increase the range of activities and services at AACs and draw seniors, particularly those at risk of social isolation, into the community, said Mr. Dinesh. Its work will complement Healthier SG, a preventive health program launched in July 2023 to link Singapore residents with a general practitioner GPE who will oversee their healthcare needs. AACs are drop-in social recreational centres that extend support to Singaporeans and permanent residents aged 60 and above who live nearby. Their suite of services includes active ageing, befriending and care referrals. The centres are typically located in housing board estates, but seniors living in private housing can also sign up with an AAC nearby. A key activity is communal dining, either cooking together or having a potluck, which all AACs will aim to do once a week from May 2024, said Mr. Dinesh. The older AACs, some of which are still called Senior Activity Centres, or sex, will be revamped progressively. At least 90 will be renovated in the next two years. By April 2024, they will all be AACs, serving seniors, H60 and above, AIC said. The authorities have said that the network of AACs here will grow from 154 now to 220 by 2025. AACs come under Singapore's H, well SG program, which will have a budget of $3.5 billion over the next decade, said Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong in his 2024 budget speech on February 16. The various initiatives in the program will include assisted living options for seniors with care needs, senior-friendly upgrades to residential estates and homes, and improvements to commuter infrastructure. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang has said that $800 million will be set aside over five years to expand the network and outreach of AACs. In November 2023, he also said the number of senior volunteers trained by AIC will be doubled to about 4,000 by 2025, up from about 1,900 Silver Generation ambassadors at the moment. Senior volunteers can befriend other seniors to help them beat loneliness and prevent the early onset of frailty and mental illness, said Mr. Dinesh. It is a win-win approach because volunteering is also a way for seniors to contribute to society. He said. Today, Singapore has 16 dementia-friendly communities in areas such as Ishun, 
Bidop and Kabun Boru. In these communities, residents are aware of the condition, and those living with dementia, as well as their families, can feel included and supported. AIC has also worked with multiple agencies to create dementia go-to points, places to which the public can take people who are lost and appear to have dementia. There are now about 650 such points island-wide, at various locations such as MRT stations, bus interchanges, and most fair-priced supermarkets. The idea would be to say, if you have a condition such as dementia, it is not something that requires you to be institutionalized. You can be cared for in society, said Mr. Dinesh. To help seniors monitor their health, AICE is working with public hospitals to set up community health posts progressively across all AACs where seniors can go to have basic health checks done, said Mr. Dinesh. Getting Singaporeans up to speed with caregiving resources is also an area of focus, as AIC aims to expand the provision of home personal care services to help with activities of daily living and other care tasks. In the future, when you have more seniors and fewer people taking care of them, you will need more home personal care services. Otherwise, there could be a tendency to want to go to an institution said Mr. Dinesh, 49, who is married with three children and whose parents are in their 70s. He was previously the Ministry of Health Group Director of Crisis Strategy and Operations and was instrumental in leading Singapore's national COVID-19 vaccination push. To attract people to work in the community care sector, the Ministry of Health on February 14 published salary guidelines meant to keep up the sector's market competitiveness. Aside from helping to shift the paradigm of how seniors will be cared for, AIC is also tapping technology to enable seniors to access care. Today, the first thought when seniors fall ill or have a small accident could be to go to a hospital's emergency department. But if it is not life-threatening, they should first go to their family doctor or healthier SGGP said Mr. Dinesh. If you need to recover, you can recover at home, you can recover in the community. You don't need to be in the hospital or a community hospital or nursing home. At home, you're taken care of by enhanced services, he said. The whole idea is to have as many people as we can. Living, aging well, and being taken care of in the community by the community, rather than for them to gravitate towards the healthcare institutions that we have. This also requires changing the notion of what a senior is. He said. For this, AIC has to break the silver ceiling movement, which challenges the way aging is viewed, even among seniors themselves. On March 16, AIC will hold open house events at four AACs in Tagui and Cheng San Salita to encourage seniors living nearby to sign up with the centres. Seniors should take care of their health by staying fit and consult their doctor from time to time, not just when they are unwell. They should also participate in activities within their communities. To keep themselves socially connected and be happy, said Mr Dinesh. What we would hope not to see is seniors sitting at home, watching TV, not moving around anywhere, starting to get frail, starting to deteriorate cognitively and eventually passing away at home.